What a blessing. What a blessing. Matthews chapter 14, verses 20 through, to, through 24, and it reads, Straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and go to the go and to go before him unto the other side, while he sent mul the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit, and cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And again, verse 22 says, But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And just for a few minutes, I want to speak about the wind in my storms. The winds in my storms. You may be seated, amen. We thank God, amen, for this opportunity on today. We know when we began to think about wind, when we began to think about wind, we've all been caught up in some wind somewhere. Wind is the movement of air caused by the uneven heat of the earth by the sun. You can't see it, you can't hold it, but you certainly can feel it. Wind, wind in storms can be devastating. It can be frightening and it can be deadly. Wind, wind can cause tornadoes. Wind can cause tsunamis. Wind, wind, wind. And we know that we have had a few tsunamis in our lives from time to time. Here in the scripture, Jesus gives his disciples a mandate to take a ship and go before him to the other side. And the disciples were being faithful. They were being obedient, doing what Jesus told them to do. And they found themselves in a situation. They found themselves in deep water. They found themselves in unstable conditions. They were using a ship to transport them to another place. This mode of transportation was supposed to carry them safely without incident to a certain destination called the other side. But suddenly things began to happen. Things began to occur that made them fearful that they might not reach their assigned place. The waves and the currents caused, the contra caused by the contrary winds began to move them about and rock them about in ways that they really didn't want to be moved. So it began to hinder their progress and channel channel and, 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 and challenge their arrival to their destination. The disciples were afraid and it seemed to be life-threatening. And now Jesus shows up. And when he shows up, the disciples didn't realize it was him. They didn't realize help was on the way. They didn't realize that help had showed up, but was afraid it was more trouble. They said it's a spirit. But Jesus reassured them of who he was and told them to be of good cheer. In other words, rejoice because help is here. How many times have we had to just call on help? How many times? Have you ever been there? Have you ever been in a place where there was help all around you, but really, we really didn't even realize that it was help? Have you ever been there? We try sometimes when we are tossed and turned in things of life to, to talk our way out of things. We try to talk to everybody else. We try everything and we really don't even know that help is right here at our doorstep. Help is right here in our face because help don't look like what we think help need to look like. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Older people, when I was growing up, I would hear them say, you can't see the forest for the trees. 
uh, because you're just looking a little too hard. We, 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 we really don't realize help sometimes because of the form it comes in. It could be a child. It could be someone you bump into at the grocery store. It could be your spouse. It could be your enemy. Isn't that something? Have your enemy ever pushed you about a place where you really, really thought you were supposed to be, but the enemy, because of some things that happened, pushed you and catapulted you into a place of destiny? And you need to send them a thank you call and say thank you so much because if it had not been for this trouble, if it had not been for these waves and currents in my life, I don't know if I would have moved out on my own. You know how we are sometimes. God have to literally kick us up out of some places because we are stuck in a place and we're not sure if we can get to our destination called the other side. Ah, I thank God for that he will give us what we need in our storms. So take heart. Ah, God is saying, take heart. I've overcome the world. Nothing has caught me by surprise. Don't, listen, listen, listen. God is saying in the midst of the challenges of life, don't lose heart. Come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He's saying, I will provide a way out. I will not allow you to be tempted above what you are able, but will, with the temptation, make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. I know you have unresolved issues, but he's saying, cast all your cares up on me, for I care it for you. Jesus spoke the plan. He spoke the plan, and the plan was to get to the other side. When God is in the plan, he will get you to the other side. He will get you to your intended place. He will get you to your destination. In this passage of scripture, the disciples were built up in their faith even more because they realized they could not control the wind. It wasn't anything they could do about it. Have you ever had some winds in your life that you couldn't do anything about it? And they just kept on blowing. They just kept on whistling all around your ears. And you came to grips with yourself. And you said, there's nothing, absolutely nothing I can do about this wind. Only God can bring me out. Only God can help me. But... They know, they know, they know, they knew, they knew, they knew who the wind controller was. And so they saw it for themselves and they were amazed that God uh, through his son, Jesus, uh, was able to speak through the winds, the winds that blew. Amen. And they calmed down and that's what God would do. He'll calm your situation. He'll come and amaze you. He'll blow your mind. He'll, you know, things you're going through, and before you know it, God would have worked it out, and he'll blow your mind. Now, I'm not going to talk about that song, but it was a song I'll say, didn't I blow your mind this time? And I'm just saying, God will blow your mind when you least expect it. And so, have you ever felt like you were doing Everything that you should have been doing. You were faithful. You were doing your best. You were doing all you could do. And suddenly, uh, you found yourself in the middle, in the midst of a battle. High speed winds came your way. Straight line winds. Uh, seasonal winds came. Downdraft winds came. Microburst winds came. Contrary. Contrary winds came. Came. And seemed like they came out of nowhere, tossing you uncontrollably off course, just tossing you away. So it had you on pause, and, and it had you on yield. It had you taking a detour, a U-turn, and you had to go to another route in your life. Have you ever experienced winds that just come all of a sudden, all of a sudden? Contrary winds and storms may look like a relationship. 
may look like your children, your jobs, finances, depression, being misunderstood. Sometimes life places us in our own boats, in a boat where the winds and the storm begin to rage and all of a sudden we are facing the winds of pain and we're facing the wind of loss and of rejection and failure. And in this day and time, radical and political unrest and, and the pandemic and we're facing some things uh, and some challenges uh, are going on in our life. When contrary winds come, uh, there's no weatherman standing by telling you minute by minute where the storm is. Uh, if there's no weatherman telling you how long it's going to be before the storm and the wind gets to you, hey, there's no one there telling you to take cover. Sometimes you can't make it to the storm shelter. Sometimes you can't make it to the lowest floor. Sometimes you can't make it to your closet. In other words, sometimes you can't find the preacher. You can't find the missionary. You can't find the family member. You can't find the best friend. But my God is standing by. You can't find the storm door that you need in your life. You can't find that storm door. But I want to submit to you on today that God is your storm door. And he will, when the enemy comes in like a flood, he will lift up a standard for you. Yes, he will. He will. He will do that. Ah, oh, storm. The storm. The winds that move in and out of our lives. Ah, uh, you know, sometimes you can't find a friend anywhere when you need them. But there's a song that says, what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and our griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. <laughs> and I, I'm so glad about that because I, I know that he has said that I'm his friend. And I, and I know that he is a friend that stick it closer than a brother. So when life challenges are tossing and turning you and you're not sure if you'll reach your destination, if you're not sure you'll reach where God has ordained you to go, if you're not sure that you'll be able to do what God has suffered, you to do. I, I, I'm sure that you can find a friend uh, in God uh, and he will get you to the other side. Uh, oh, all you have to do uh, is reach out for him uh, because he's always uh, standing by. Yes, 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 yes. Always standing by. And so, so, so in Philippians 1 and 6, it says, uh, being confident of this very thing, uh, that he who begun a good work in you uh, will complete it until the day uh, of Jesus Christ. Now I want to shout right there uh, because he said he would complete it. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Jesus told his disciples, he said, go ahead of me. He said, go ahead of me. In other words, he's saying, I'm coming. I'm going to meet you on the other side, but you go ahead of me. So I want to tell you on today, no matter what you're going through, God will meet you on the other side. Look, God will meet you on the other side. God is standing by saying, come on, you can do it. Come on, you can make it. You can do all things through Christ that strengthen you. Come on, you can do it. God said in his word that he'll never leave us nor forsake us. In other words, he's not going to abandon you. He's not going to leave you alone, but he's going to be right there and making a way for you. He's going to be right there to carry you everywhere, do everything you need to go through, no matter how, how the winds blow. No matter what you're going through, uh, God said he will uh, make a way for you. Uh, oh, yes, Isaiah uh, 41 and 10 says, uh, fear not. I want to stay right there uh, because he told his disciples, uh, he said, it is I, uh, fear not. Uh, and so it says, uh, fear not, uh, for I am with you. Uh, be not dismayed, uh, for I am your God. Uh, I will strengthen you. Uh, I will help you. Uh, I will uphold you uh, with my righteous right hand. Uh, yes, uh, yes, yes, 
yes. Uh, he's going to uphold you no matter what you're going through. Uh, when the winds uh, are howling in your life, uh, howling winds, uh, you know the word howling, uh, it's associated with scary stuff. Uh, it's associated with scary movies and, and haunted houses uh, and spooky stuff. Uh, but howling winds uh, will try to come in your life. Uh, and when they come in, uh, they might sound like a rowing line. Uh, they might sound like the devil uh, running around trying to seek who me may devour. When the winds uh, come in, uh, that's exactly how they might sound. Uh, but the wind is raging uh, and coming in. Uh, Boasterous against you, uh, howling winds. Uh, they sound like the flood uh, trying to run in through your door. Uh, but when, 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 hey, when, when, uh, when, uh, when the floods uh, try to come in, uh, when, uh, I know about say, uh, when the waters try to come in down on you, uh, you uh, can leave. And depend on him. You can run. You can run. You can run into the pavilion and hide under the shadow of the Almighty. You can run and lay in his arms because he said that he would take care of us. He said, Cast all your cares upon him because he cared for you. So when, when, when you are facing winds, when you're facing things that come up in your life, just know that God, God will send his refreshing wind. He will send a refreshing wind. Things that will cool you down. Things that will take care of you. Yes, yes. This anointed wind will take over your life. He's able and he will. He will do it for you. Hallelujah. Come on and lift those hands. Come on and lift those hands. Come on and lift those hands. Lift those hands. Lift those hands. God, God. God, God. God. God, God. God, I lift my hands to you now because I know I'll need a win in my life. But I need your anointed, fresh wind to blow over me. Like the dew in the morning. Hey, your fresh wind, your fresh wind, your wind of protection, your wind of love, your wind of joy, your wind of peace. God, blow down. Hey, God. Hey, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. The wind of God. Let God win. Move you gently into a place of renewing, a place of unshakable faith in Him. Learn how to say what God say about you. Don't worry what other people saying about you. That don't matter anyway. Learn to say what God is saying about you. That's what matters. Regardless of the wind, Jesus is there. God will get you to the other side. I, uh, just do it with me. Do it with me. Just cross over to the other side. Just, just make a step. Just step over to the other side. Just step up. Whatever it is, uh, he's going to bring you through. He's going to bring you through. He's going to bring you through. Step up, come up, come up, step over, step over, step over. Come on, come up, step over. Hey, I don't know about shit, let's see. Thank you, Jesus. Go. Speak life. Speak life. Whatever your situation is, whatever contrary winds are coming your way, speak life over yourself. Speak life. Declare everything attached to me when. Everything. My dog and my cat. Everything attached to me when. Everything. I'm speaking life. I'm speaking life. You know how it is. When we have a fire made and, and sometimes it look like the fire is gone out. It look like you got a dead situation going on. And, and, and the cold, the top part is black. 
and God will send a fresh wind and let it burst into flames. That fire that's on the inside of you, that you die down on the inside of you. Uh-huh, but he will turn it and let it burst into flames. It's not dead. Ah, oh, we thank God for the fresh wind. Let him speak to you. He created you for a purpose. He said, has a plan for your life. Ah, oh, so, so God will get you to the other side. Uh-huh, he loves you. Yes, yes, he loves you. He already, he put you here for a reason. You didn't stay here just to be eating sandwiches and sucking up water and, and doing all this stuff we run around doing and, and here and there and back and forth. But there is a plan for your life. And let me tell you, I don't care about the contrary winds that come your way. Now, the, uh, the storms will come and toss you back and forth, make you reel and rock. Oh, but if you're standing with God, you can stand on his word. And the root of all of it is your faith. Because you got to catch hold to that thing. Uh-huh. Your faith. You got to hold it. Uh-huh. Because he is holding us. And you know we're his friends. Ah, we thank God. We thank God. Lift your hand. Might be someone here on today saying, the winds have been tossing me and turning me and doing some things to me. And I need God to work in my life. I, I need some things. I need to get to the other side. I know he'll meet me in the middle of the water. He'll meet me on my seat. I just want him to tell me to go ahead and get started. When you got to get your faith together and get up and get started. He'll meet you on the sea. If you have some troubles, if the winds try to come your way, I want to reassure you that he'll meet you on your sea. Uh-huh. Because his plan for you is to get to the other side. That's your destination. It may be one in here on today that don't even know God as your person, personal Lord and Savior. You might not know. You might not know. It's nothing wrong with not knowing about not knowing. We just don't want to remain in that place. Amen. Is there one? Will there be one? If it is, would you raise your hand? Is there one? Just raise your hand. If there is one, just raise your hand. Amen. We thank God. We thank God. Amen. Amen. Let's just raise our hands on today. God, we thank you now. God, we thank you for this hour. We thank you for this time. God, we thank you for every individual in the room. God, we pray that you would continue, God, to be with them and walk with them. God, bless every home that's represented. God, you see the winds and you see the currents that try to come up against us. But God, we say thank you on today because you are our Abba Father. You are Alpha and Omega. God, you will and you alone will turn things in our favor, God. And we thank you for it, God, because we lean and we depend on you, God. We thank you for your word because you already said greater love have no man in this that a man will lay down his life for a friend ye are my friend if you do whatsoever I command you so God we thank you now thank you God for covering us thank you for keeping us even God when we're tossed in the wind we have confidence of this very thing that the work you begun in us you will perform it. Amen. And so we say thank you, God. We give you glory. We bless your name. We bless your name on today. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Bless your name.